Good morning. It's the beginning of day 46. It's about 20 past 7, which is a pretty nice early start for me, which is great. And yeah, it's cold outside. Um, still, I'll be hot in a short while and have to take off this. I got a fleece on underneath my wind windbreaker. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, hoping to do another. Uh, 22 to 25 miles today. We'll see. There's less uh, downhills, more hip, just more hills in general. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> There's also, um, as was predicted in Far Route and elsewhere, there's uh, what I believe to be poodle bush um, <clears throat> all over the trail. And some people have gotten off the trail and just walked on the road. It's worth if you're not not familiar with it. It's a plant that lives around here and only here. Thank God that it's um, merely touching it will give you a severe rash and blisters. And people go to ER, ER from what I gather with it, and um, and it's growing all near the trail. Sometimes through the trail. I've got long pants on. Some of the people, and well, almost everyone I've seen, just has shorts on, and I don't know how they could avoid not brushing up their, against their legs. But just for grins, Google poodle bush. It's a beautiful looking plant. It looks slightly uh, similar to marijuana plants, um, but uh, it has gorgeous flowers in season. But uh, not to be touched. Talk to you soon. Well, I think this is it. I don't have a cell signal to check, but uh, you can see it growing. Small plants, big plants. It apparently has very nice flowers <laughs> and everywhere. How do you get through this without touching it? I do not know. Oh my God. Yep, this is it. Jesus creepers. more so yeah prevalent and i think that's it uh once i have a cell signal I'll maybe grab a picture and and verify with one of the, these plant apps i'm at the top of a hill and there's these beautiful trees this one's dead but there are a lot of these ones and you can see these these are oaks they come in various varieties. Some of them are just a few feet off the ground. Some of them are towering like this. And there's just tons of acorns on the ground. And not surprisingly, there was a lot of bear scat on the trail between these big trees. Oh, it's good to see that this environment can support all, all manner of wildlife. I came down from, came up from down the hill over here. And you can see the corner of the Mojave that we crossed, where you see the in the center of the screen is wind turbines across that. And all these places that look like water, they're not. It's solar panels. It's really quite attractive and very different. I've been doing a lot of uphill climbing, which means I want to stop and take pictures to rest. Exhausting. Extensive burn areas. You can see the the trees uh, burned, but they're all coming back. It's kind of a good thing they come back from their roots, I guess. And the poodle dog bush has reappeared back. I just got water, which was great after about eight and a half miles, and um, but it was loaded up with the uh, PDB. Poodle dog bush. So if it gets worse 
right now I'm not seeing any, but if it gets bad, I see a lot of entries on far routes. There's a road that mirrors uh, what the trail, and needless to say, on the dirt road, it's there's very there's not any vegetation. So if it gets bad, I might just go out and do a road walk. The air is heavy with the scent of poodle dog bush. It's, it truly looks like marijuana, smells like marijuana, and um, it really mess you up if you touch it. So hasn't there was a lot of like a mile or two back right on trail, and then it seems to have moved just a bit off trail. Um, and I have yeah, there's piles of it in there. Uh, what's most likely happening here is. There's reference to trail maintenance uh, teams of volunteers who are uh, ripping it out that's on trail. So thank you for those folks. Hey guys, I've been walking in a gorgeous forest, which is just down the hill from the main road. The road sort of parallels the trail. And I thought of going on the road for a bit because there was so much of the poodle dog bush, but in these burnt out areas, but that all ended and I got into this cool forest. And guess what? These these to me look like uh, fir trees, Douglas firs, which I haven't seen for hundreds of miles. I This must just be a naturally wet area. And you have some, look at that. That thing is at least six feet across and it goes uh, to heaven. So very strange since I've just been walking in this burnt out, scorched area, and now I'm in this lush, cool forest, and if it went like this all the way to Mexico, I'd be a happy camper. <laughs> so, oh, the road parts, which way do I go? Dang, oh, I gotta let go. Hey there, it's ten past four. It's been a tough day. I uh, just... Came across the road cut, there's the, the uh, Mojave. And in about another mile before stream, which I desperately need. And it's, uh, I'll assess whether it makes sense to camp in the area. There's no listed trail uh, 10 sites for, for like 20 miles, but you can often find something that's usable. So, That'll probably be my plan when I get there, after I get rehydrated, have a snack, and then I'll decide what to do next. Well, it's five o'clock. I just found the water source, and I got three liters of water, because I'll be dry camping tonight. It's about nine miles to a, believe it or not, there's a fire station out here, probably designed to fight these uh, rural uh, remote fires but they provide water, but that's nine miles away. It's five o'clock, and I'm not going there tonight. And there's no 10 sites listed and far out for about 20 miles, so uh, I'm just gonna be looking for some place to throw my tent down by the side of the road. There is a cave here that uh, far out, it says, goes quite far into the mountain. Uh, needless to say, I'm not gonna explore that. It's, it's uh, after five, and I'm looking for a tent site and trying to get down this hill. Pretty cool though. Hey there, it's the end of day 46. Um, I, for whatever reason, my my camera won't focus anymore, but I'm taking a picture of my tent. And uh, yeah, there we go, focus. And uh, it's about 10 minutes of seven. I did uh, like 25 and a half miles today. It was pretty arduous. There was a tunnel of this poodle bush and nothing's focusing because it's dark out, I guess. But this is an example of poodle bush. It's like five, five or six feet tall, six feet wide. And there's tons of it that's tinier. But uh, it was really a, a huge nuisance on the trail. Um, I'm going to switch back to me. Yeah, that's me. Maybe that'll be better focused. In any case, um, it was pretty arduous trying to avoid this poodle bush, uh, which is quite toxic uh, to humans just a touch. Uh, but... Yeah, I did that um, a fair amount of road. I, I did a fair amount of road walking when the poodle bush got so intensive. I had to exit the trail and walk on a road. Might have added a mile or two to my overall distance. Uh, but in any case, 
um, it's done and uh, I'm happy I've had dinner tent set up I got to get in and clean my clean myself up which I'm a mess I'm sweaty I smell myself it's bad talk to you soon